St. Eustatius, located in the northern Lesser Antilles, measures just 11 square miles and is a special province of the Netherlands, together with Bonaire and Sabre. It is home to approximately 4,000 inhabitants, the majority of whom are of African descent. Iguana delicatissima is a species of iguana that is endemic to the Caribbean. While some may confuse this species with the more common iguana iguana, skull morphology, the absence of dark barring on the tail, and more than 15 morphological characters make it phylogenetically distinct. Iguana delicatissima represents a unique component of the overall biodiversity of the Caribbean region playing a vital ecological role by promoting foliage growth through cropping, providing nutrients to developing seedlings, and dispersing seeds to new areas. Historically, this species is believed to have existed throughout the northern Lesser Antilles, from Anguilla to Martinique. However, it has since been extirpated from Saint Martin, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, and Marie Gallant. Ongoing surveys conducted on Guadeloupe since 2007 suggest that populations have been extirpated recently from Grand Terre and Les Îles de Saint. However, individuals are still present along with iguana iguana and hybrids on Basse Terre but biologically viable populations have most likely been extirpated. Iguana delicatissima is listed as endangered by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature with a declining population status. It is also listed on Appendix 2 of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, meaning trade in the species is protected throughout its natural range. Before European colonization of St. Eustatius, there were estimated to be over 20,000 iguanas inhabiting the island. Since then, however, numbers have plummeted, and according to a 2004 population assessment, there are estimated to be around 450 individuals. Iguana delicatissima occupies habitats from sea level to approximately 600 meters. It exists in xeric scrub, dry scrub woodland and littoral woodland. The condition of these habitats varies, with iguanas able to survive in extremely xeric degraded habitats in the absence of introduced predators or competitors. Hatchlings and juveniles live predominantly in bushes and low trees, usually in thick vegetation that offers protection, basking sites and a wide range of food. With age, they climb higher and inhabit larger trees. Iguana delicatissima is a generalist herbivore, feeding primarily in the morning with a diet that includes leaves, flowers and fruits of a wide range of shrubs and trees. Little is known about Iguana delicatissima on St. Eustatius, and more baseline studies about its distribution, movements, and feeding and breeding ecology are required. Habitat loss and fragmentation due to agriculture, tourism, coastal development, and road casualties are some of the threats faced by iguanas on city stations. In addition, feral and free-roaming cats and guard dogs that run free within fenced properties have a significant impact on iguanas. Hatchlings and juveniles are within the prey size range of the native red-bellied racer snake, Alsophis rudimentaris, as can be seen in this video captured in the Quill National Park. Free-ranging and feral browsing competitors are present, with goat and sheep populations of particular concern on St. Eustatius, where extensive overbrowsing continues to cause a shift in plant species composition and habitat structure. 
Another threat is the ongoing degradation of natural vegetation attributable to the spread of invasive alien species, most notably the Mexican creeper, Antigonon leptopus, which is unpalatable to both goats and iguanas. Hunting is considered a minor problem, primarily because population densities are so low that it is not worth the effort. Other notable sources of iguana mortality include drowning in abandoned systems and entanglement in fences. Even though several valuable conservation measures, such as the establishment of legally protected parks, and the legal protection of Iguana Delicatissima are in place, its status has not improved significantly in the last 10 years. Compared to 2004, when the population was estimated to number 425, current population size certainly lies on the low side of this range. This is far below the required minimum viable population size of 5,000 animals and means that the iguana is critically endangered on city stations. Suitable nesting sites for the iguana appear very limited, especially due to a combination of geology and vegetation. Therefore, lack of nesting sites and high iguana mortalities due to anthropogenic causes are suggested as two core factors limiting recovery of the iguana on Sydney stations. For this reason, the following management interventions are proposed. Implement simple measures for better protection of the wild population. Conduct studies for a better knowledge of the critical biological parameters. And increase public awareness on the plight of the species. Recommended protective measures include preventing potential entry of the mongoose and iguana iguana from neighbouring islands, implementing enforcement and upgrading protective legislation, developing new additional nesting habitat, and promoting iguana-friendly gardens in order to reduce cumulative mortality. In the future, in-situ husbandry and breeding could serve a pivotal role in bolstering the population, especially because it offers a relaxed setting in which islanders and visitors can experience the iguana as the gentle and beautiful animal that it is. The coastal forest communities of the Lesser Antilles are among the most imperiled areas in the Caribbean and harbour a suite of endemic and migratory species. Preserving these communities for the iguana will help offset the dramatic and continuing loss of biodiversity in the Caribbean and would be a significant step towards maintaining these natural habitats and associated wildlife in a healthy and self-sustaining state. Ja, en dan als de ouder wordt, worden ze grijs. Hoe vaak zie jij ze? Uh, gemiddeld um, 8 tot 10 per jaar. Zo weinig? Heel weinig. De laatste telling hebben ze ietsje meer dan 400 beesten. 400 stuks op het, op het, hele, het, eiland. Op het hele eiland. En dat wordt steeds minder. Steeds minder. Ja, echt magnifiek beest. Het is zo... zo... Prehistorisch ziet het eruit, toch? Het is prachtig. Ja.